This screencast is an overview of the Google Classroom interface and all the different components. So I've started on actually a world history page, but I could get to my dashboard of all my classes by those three lines in the upper left hand corner. So here are all the classes I have set up. I can go into a class by clicking on it. I have uh, three parts of a classroom. I have my stream and this has all my announcements and assignments. Okay. On my stream I can also see for any assignments who's done them, who hasn't done them, and the status of or, or the type of assignment that it is. I could add comments to any of my announcements or any of my assignments. I could also add a new announcement and a new assignment right here just by clicking on those. Over on the left hand side I can see that, um, that what assignments are coming up. So this is due tomorrow. And then here's the class code that students can join uh, the class with. And that actually can be disabled or reset if you, if you want. Now over here in the students, that is how uh, you add students, manage students. You can email students if you want to. You can remove them and of course you can add. There's that class code. I've already done that in another screencast. And then the, finally you have over here on the about you have a little bit about your course that you can add. You can go in there and edit those uh, items if you want. Make sure to save when you're done. Add syllabus or any other materials you want uh, to this. And you can, you know, throughout Google Classroom, wherever you can add a, a document, you can not only add something that's a Google Doc, you can add a link, you can add a YouTube video, you can add really whatever you want. Uh, the last part is your class theme. So I have this uh, kind of brick sidewalk there, but you have multiple themes you can choose from. Uh, right now you cannot create your own, so you are stuck with whatever they, uh, they have given you, but when you change the theme it also changes the color scheme that go along with it. So you can uh, try a few of them out and see which one works best for your class. So that is an overview. Again, if you ever want to get back to your dashboard and all your classes, just go up to the side. Uh, there's also a settings button that will, uh, that will allow you to get to your Google account so you can reset that but that is the same as your Gmail and your Google Docs and your Google Drive because it's all accessed through one account. Alright that is an overview of the Google Classroom interface.